Uh, but like I said, people freak out when it comes to the rain here. Um, they act like they've never heard of this before. Like, Ra'in? What is this Ra'in? Oh my god, there's literally water coming down from the sky! Does God hate us? <laughs> it's just weird. Do you get a missile turret, up, missile turret up? He apparently doesn't see it because he runs right into its line of sight. So down goes the observer, and down goes 200 minerals. But he does see that my army is not that large, so he's going in for the attack here. Apparently he didn't see it, so he just wanted to send those guys in to test. Um, he does cut off two marines, and he'll be able to snipe those easily. Uh, just one Im immortal out? Uh, yes, just one immortal. Uh, he does have seven zealots and four stalkers and three sentries. That's quite a diverse army there. Does he have any upgrades on them? No, he does not, and it doesn't look like he's getting any. He is getting charged, but no weapons level one or armor or shields level one. So really an upgrade, unupgraded army. When I saw that he ran away, I assumed that he had nothing left in his base. And I am absolutely right. Look at this. Nothing guarding his base whatsoever. So I'm going for the Zelnaga Tower here. He is going for the expansion, by the way. It is up, and he is not transferring, though. Uh, well, because he's completely undersaturated here. Um, he does have a lot of harvesters, just, just don't know where they went. You know, I do have... Um, quite a few here. Um, and here I stupidly go here because I could only see up to that pylon there. I didn't see this army in the back. And with those sentries out and the charge zealots going around, he should be able to take out this army because I don't focus down the immortal. So the immortal is able to get seven, eight, eight kills before I finally finish it off. Reinforcements, of course, thanks to that pylon, will clean that up. What I should have done is just gone for his base. When I saw he had the proxy pylon setting up his army there, I should have assumed he had nothing left in his base, and he didn't. And that would have forced him to... Uh, I would have at least gotten a lot of damage done. We sent half my army in to get damage done there, but I did not do that. And I... Wow. I still have the lead in the, the unit's loss count. I did not expect that. Still using that proxy pylon. I don't know. Do I call it a proxy pylon? Do I call it a macro pylon? Whatever. That pylon right there in the middle, somewhat middle of the map, that one right there, is what's keeping him in this game and keeping him on the offensive because I haven't been able to take it down. He has map control. I am stuck inside my base with these siege tanks. I should be waiting for him to attack uh, before I do anything else. Is he getting another immortal? No, he's not. He's going for the Templar Archives. Oh, so we'll most likely be seeing storms coming out of him. Another gateway and a forge is on the way. He, he didn't even have the forge up. I'm meanwhile going for weapons level 2. Uh, that's because I have a ton of minerals left over. I have a Thor out. Why do I have a Thor out? Really, I just wanted to spend stuff. I should have just massed tanks. Uh, Marines and Marauders. Those tanks, of course, going to do great me. Uh, 110 seconds on that psionic storm. Immortal is almost done. He is moving in uh, with another observer staying out of sight, so, but he will be seen if I move out. And it looks like, oh, I'm moving out because I have a Thor. Just because it does 12 damage uh, with 3... Uh, what is that? To air but and 30 damage to, to ground. Well, 60 because it has 2, but I mean, it's so slow. What is that? 1.28? It's a little bit faster than sieged up um, siege tanks, but still. Um, he, so we do see um, High Templars out on the field. Um, just two of them with the Immortal coming out. I do see the Immortal. So what I'm going to try to do here, and I, I don't know how well it works is siege these guys up, and as soon as I get those two pot shots off, they run in, but these siege tanks are too far in front, uh, so these guys aren't going to be getting as much damage done as I would like. Um, the Thor, not doing that great either. Uh, that was wasted. Why get a 
Why did I get a Thor? Don't get a Thor. Really, you know, it's, I think it's because I've been watching replays of um, the single player. And of course, still, nothing in his base, right? No, no attacking units in his base. But like I said, I've been watching replays of the single player, and um, the the Thors do a lot of damage to 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 ground units in in the single player, but they don't do nearly as much in uh, to ground units here. And here I have all I have left are siege tanks. Gonna take out everything that he's got eventually. Uh, he he is forced to run off. I still have a ton of minerals and gas, so much more than he does. I'm just not spending it well. And that, of course that Thor going down did cost me. I need these guys sieged up again. Um, I should have some more here uh, so we can do like a cross section right there. He is getting an expansion um, because really this apparently this pylon is holding that uh, for him. He doesn't have that much of an army left. Uh, he still has the lead over me, no doubt. Uh, especially now that he's just warped those guys in. Um, but, you know, once again, he, he had his entire army out in the field. I should have come in, started doing massive damage to his main base. Forced him to come in, uh, taking out a bunch of these probes while they were still here. And I just didn't do it. Um, you know, I was, I was turtling in my base. I have a Banshee out. Why do I have a Banshee? You know, I'm just making so many mistakes. I'm not researching Cloak. And of course, he said Stalkers the entire game. Why would I assume he di went away from the Stalkers? And Psystorm's going down. These guys have nowhere to go. So I'm really down to just a tank army right now. And the tanks by themselves are not going to do anything. Look in here, especially when they're sieged up and the Zealots are up on them. They just do splash damage to themselves. So I have nothing left here. Is he producing anything to come in? Yes, zealots. So he's going to get seven zealots to come inside my base. And I am screwed. I am getting the second level two, uh, second level armor upgrade, weapons number one upgrade, getting tanks, getting everything I can. But now that he's operating off of three base, I really stand no chance. He's actually mined out of his main. I'm not even mined out of my main yet. So this is gonna be game over. There's there's really no reason for me to stay here, is there? Um, but he, apparently he does that. He doesn't know that he's running back. I GG. But then when I see when he runs back, I'm kind of like, oh, uh, okay, um, maybe not. So I siege back up, and then he easily takes those out. And there I go. I leave the game. Um, yeah. I guess I was a premature GG from his point of view, but really I had nothing left. I mean, the game was over, you know, for about a, a minute, minute and a half. Um, I was getting four, you know, two more barracks up. Finally, they're up. St you know, look how much I have left. Um, he does have more, but that's because the game's over. Um, you know, 1,300, 500 gas. I mean, that's, that's insane. Um... You know, I lost complete sight of my macro, not really f reacting to what he was doing, which was mass gateway units along with uh, high Templars. Um, you know, I've mentioned it so many times. If I had come into his main base, uh, it would have been a completely different game. Um, if I didn't get that Thor out or the Banshee, you know. But really, I was just trying to spend minerals and gas because I didn't have anything, and apparently this wasn't doing it enough. Don't don't waste it. Just get another production facility, you know, like I eventually remembered to do. So now I would have had five racks up. Um, if that had been up earlier, I probably would have come back in this game. So many mistakes made by me. Uh, please learn from my mistakes. Don't do the same things that I do. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.